As we all know, due to U.S. technological hegemony, any use of U.S. technology, even if it is just a slash, a zero, or a tenth of a zero, is restricted by the United States. So if a company wants to supply or provide services to Huawei, it has to get consent from the U.S. SMIC cannot produce chips for Huawei because many of its devices use U.S. technology, such as EEV lithography almost at the same time that it is banned from producing OEM chips for Huawei. The U.S. has asked TSMC to build a plant in the U.S. Now we know that TSMC plans to build a 5 nanometers chip plant in the U.S. But TSMC is not actively acting. In addition to labor reasons, the cost is a more critical fact. TSMC has repeatedly said that it is not realistic to build a chip factory in the United States because it is difficult to make a profit, so TSMC has been hoping to get subsidies from the United States. In fact, before TSMC went to the U.S. to build a plant, the U.S. did say it would provide subsidies, but so far that promise has not been fulfilled, and now according to media reports, TSMC's subsidy vision may be crumbling, with semiconductor consultants releasing a document stating that the U.S. SHIP Act is increasingly unlikely to be legalized. In other words, the best outcome for TSMC to build a plant in the U.S. may just end up being unprofitable. Instead, TSMC's rival Intel has already received $2 billion in preferential subsidies. That's not the worst outcome. Some of TSMC's major customers are already considering giving orders to Intel to fulfill, for example. Nvidia has said before that it is considering recently. Qualcomm has also said that it will consider having Intel join the foundry, and in addition, Intel has started calling Apple to get on board. If TSMC loses these big US customers, the losses will undoubtedly be heavy, and in the meantime it would have to be reluctantly taken care of at times like this. I've found some clues that TSMC seems to be getting ready to go back to Huawei why is that so? What evidence is there to support my seemingly absurd claim that TSMC is really not afraid of the US? Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is encouraging us to create more videos ok, let's continue what we're talking about at the beginning of the video. We mentioned that if TSMC wants to supply chips to Huawei, it must use a production line without US technology, yet in recent years TSMC has started to turn to more and more mainland Chinese suppliers, such as etching machine supplier Advanced Micro Machining Equipment Corporation AMEC Amec is probably the most popular mainland Chinese company to join TSMC's supply chain, but it's not just that, mainland Chinese companies whose products, such as granite-focused light technology and fluoride, have been successively adopted by TSMC. These mainland Chinese companies are involved in many areas, such as material components and equipment. In particular, I noticed that a new chip was recently used in Huawei's new phone, and after disassembling it, the media reported that the chip is likely a new version of the Kirin 710 series built by the domestic supply chain leading many to speculate that TCM may build a purely domestic 1,428 nanometers production line for Huawei. Although 14 nanometers and 28 nanometers are not advanced technologies, there are many types of chips that use 14 nanometers and 28 nanometers, such as router chips, smart screen chips, security chips, automotive grade chips, etc. In terms of Huawei's shipments, orders for these chips are also huge, and it seems that TCL really needs Huawei as a loyal customer, and at a time when Intel is eyeing and TCL's corporate customers are wavering the orders are huge. So why is TSMC brave enough to do this under the nose of the US, and is it really not afraid of the US? We also discussed the grievances between Mike and the US in the previously posted video we are sorting out the misfortunes the US has brought to Mike in addition to its unfinished grant and strong preference for Mike America's biggest competitor Intel is trying to poach people from TSMC to fill the talent gap in the local semiconductor industry because it is hard to recruit qualified and experienced employees. In the US and the local semiconductor market is facing more than 5,000 job openings. The U.S. think tank suggested that these vacancies could be brought in from outside, preferably from TSMC's experienced talent, and when TSMC went to the U.S. to build a plant, it was also asked to hand over some of its technical core, apparently inviting TSMC to work for the U.S. for free. In addition, to stimulate local semiconductor manufacturers to build factories, the U.S. passed a $52 billion subsidy program to reduce the pressure on local factory builders. 
That's why IBM founder Maurice Chung angrily rebuked in a speech at the Brookings Institution, increasing domestic chip production in the U.S. is a wasteful and useless initiative. From the sidelines, I can only wish TSMC good luck, while this is a wake-up call for all technology companies to take their fate into their own hands.